Hey everybody. So the hummingbird's back. And I was hoping the hummingbird would come back. <laughs> because I went ahead and I made a hummingbird feeder. Now, I was going to buy one. But then when I was searching, I found this video. Um, and it turns out you could make a decent hummingbird feeder pretty easily. There's, it's not rocket science. Whoa, there's two hummingbirds. Oh my God. There's two hummingbirds. Whoa, there's two hummingbirds. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if they're fighting or if they're mates. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, sorry, before I got rudely interrupted by those hummingbirds, I was trying to explain how I was trying to attract hummingbirds. And look, so you can use, in, in the video that I saw, the lady used salsa cups. But I had these um, little mini Tupperware cups that are a little bit more sturdy. And I painted them. They were 100% clear. I painted them um, red on top with the yellow. And then I painted, you know, so I just, I painted it mostly red. And I left some space for the yellow flower part. And the woman suggested that you paint a black dot so that they know where to put their little beak straw. Whoa! And, um, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, baby! So cool. And, and she said, you don't need to paint um, the inside of the cup. You just paint the top. That's what I did is I just painted the top and then she said you can use uh, a hot nail, or in my case, I used my soldering iron to just melt the hole. She said you want the hole to be smooth. If you just try to poke it with a, a knife or something, it won't be smooth. So, uh, and then I just hot glued it to a stick. I'm not sure, sorry about the focus, but I just hot glued them, not even very well. So you could buy hummingbird nectar, but it's basically just sugar water. So I'll put in the description the actual ratio of sugar to water. If you're making your own hummingbird nectar, don't add the red food coloring or any red dye. And you can see that the ants have also discovered the hummingbird feeder with slightly less success. Well, you know me, I'm a friend to all animals, big and small. And um, when I was talking about the ants, I could see that actually some of them are still moving. So the ones that haven't drowned Oh, that wasn't great. The ones that haven't drowned, um, I'm gonna save them. Hey, you. <laughs> Those ones look like they didn't make it. But yeah, there's still an ant in there struggling. So I'm gonna and spend a little bit of time getting those little ants out. I'm gonna switch back to slow-mo, see if I can get a couple more good shots before I end this video.
okay, it's all you. I'm going to go back inside and let you do your thing, Mr. Mr. Hummingbird. You little fluffy. How close will you let me get, Mr. Fluffy? Hi, Fluffy. <laughs> Hi, little Fluffy. <laughs> Hi, little Fluffy. Look at your hair. Look at your fluffy hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, Baba Joe. Oh, my little fluffy baby. <laughs> <laughs>